Embryo transfer is not a painful procedure, so there will be no injections given when you come in for embryo transfer. The details regarding how many embryos to put back, we shall conclude, we shall make a decision when you come to the procedure room after the embryologist has looked at the embryos. So depending on how many embryos that you have and the quality, we shall agree on the number of embryos to put back. After the procedure has been done, you lie flat on your back with the leg straight for at least one hour, after which you can go home and maintain a restful life. A restful life doesn't mean sleeping from morning to evening. You're free to do your normal domestic chores, but with care. As long as the work you're doing at home is non strainers you're not standing for a long period of time, you're not bending your back for a long period of time, that is okay. Then remember to take your medicines as prescribed because the survival of your embryos depends on these medicines. Then while you're at home, avoid using strong scented creams and perfumes because these are creams that can directly kill the embryos. Eat a well-balanced diet. A well-balanced diet, these are meals that contain all food nutrients. We are not sending you home to eat every day. It is not nutritious, so maintain a well-balanced diet and avoid trying out new foods that can make you fall sick, getting loose tools, hence miscarrying. Your pregnancy test will be 14 days from today. In case you get any problem during this time while you're waiting, please come back to the hospital or call us so that we can advise you on what to do. In case you bleed before the two weeks, bleeding doesn't necessarily mean that the program has failed. Sometimes it's implantation bleeding. So in case that happens, inform us so that we can advise you on how to use your medicines. While at home, sleep under a mosquito net to prevent from malaria. My name is Jessica Reston Nanziri. I'm the IVF coordinator nurse for the Saka IVF Clinic.